Good morning, everybody. BTC Simmer here with you. Afternoon, good evening, good night, no matter where you may be watching. No matter where you may be watching. You're probably wondering, what the heck is he doing in a DA? DA-62. Well, it's an aircraft I do like. I really do like the Diamond Aircraft line. The 40, the, uh, what is it, the 50RG, 42, um, all the Diamonds. Um, kind of jumped on the Diamond bandwagon since MS FS 2020 released, but uh, and since I picked it up. But uh, yeah, I do like the Diamonds. Uh, I like their ease of use, jump right in, fly right away. Just not a whole list of things to do. Um, I've flown this one lots on the channel in my earlier days of the channel uh, last year. So a whole whack load of flights in this one. Uh, some in the 42, I believe it is, and uh, or the 40, one, whatever the other one is in uh, uh, Flight Simulator here. But uh, yeah, I do like the Diamond. And uh, Mr. G-Box Master just mentioned uh, he was in a Diamond, so... Give me the diamond bug. So I'm going to do a couple of touch goes here at the uh, high river. This is the uh, diamond uh, DA62 um, update from uh, Mr. Tommy MXR from flightsim.to. So it updates the model and stuff, adds a few things, uh, makes it a lot more realistic than the Asobo. It's a really good add on. I recommend it. There's also another one by another uh, creator out there on flightsim.to. They're both really good. Um, I haven't tried the other guys. I, not sure who he is but uh there's a couple on there and um this airport is high river it's by pdf yyc high river um alberta canada so right in the prairies and uh we'll be doing some touch and goes thanks mr g box <laughs> all right guys i'm going to mention the price btc some of you may wonder why i mention the price of bitcoin on my videos and over top of all my videos or before or after in some cases um I am a uh, Bitcoiner myself. I believe in sound money, sound principles. Uh, y you know the whole deal, Shmiel. Um Read about Bitcoin. Read about uh, how it uh, how it is a sound piece of of the proper store store of value, store of savings. You know, it's it's what I what I like. I'm 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 not trying to force anyone to get it to buy it. Um, all up to you. Stack it if you want. It's definitely something to uh, look into, even if you allocate uh, one to two percent, if that's what you want to do. But uh, I just want people on a sound, hard money system instead of a money that's uh, stolen from you every day by uh, governments around the world. So um, read into it more. Um, that's that. I'm not going to get too into that, but uh, I'll mention the price as I always do. Price today is twenty six six fifty eight. Twenty six six fifty eight. We're at 35440 Canadian. 35440 Canadian. You, you might wonder why I mention the uh, Canadian price on the channel all the time. Uh, I am Canadian myself, so that is why I'm from uh, Western Canada. Um, don't want to dox myself too much, but uh, that's that. Remember, guys, one Bitcoin is one Bitcoin. And then price is around 26, 27, kind of rubbing around there, staying around there, which is good. Good ceiling. Yeah, um, sats are the lowest uh, denominator of the Bitcoin, Satoshi. It's one uh, uh, point seven decimals ahead of that. Seven zeros, sorry, and then one. So, um, Anyway, let's get to some headlines here. Uh, so this one is, uh, Bitcoin is sitting at key level as pressures on Coinbase build after SEC charges. That's uh, Dow Jones Newswires. Yeah, it's uh, good old Coinbase. Bitcoin price can gain 60% if textbook chart pattern confirms trader. Cointelegraph. Tether's game plan in El Salvador. Why invest in volcano energy? Yeah, Tether will jump on that as well. They'll all jump on that. That Volcano energy is amazing. Run, run your miners off of a uh, volcano. That is... Truly amazing. <laughs> All right, guys, let's get to the uh, touch and goes here. I am running FSLTL, so hopefully we get some traffic. I kind of bumped up the traffic a little bit, but uh, we will see. I got to hit ready to fly for it to engage. 
Let's see what happens here. I'm just going to check the... Uh, Alright, injection started. So yeah, there's a lot to uh, YYC from here, but it uh, doesn't show anything here yet. Oh well, that's okay. So let's quickly do the checklist. And this has a GUS checklist, uh, landing check acronym, um, gear, uh, how does it go again? <laughs> um, gas, undercarriage, and then, because it's FADEC, so, four starting engines, power levers idle, they are idle, parking brake is set, I believe it is. Avionics master is off. Yes, it's off. Gear selector checked down. Okay, it is down. Alternators check both on. Where are the alternators in the old uh, DA? They're both on. Fuel pump check left and right off. Electrical master on. So electrical master on. There you go. Starting engine. Strobe lights on. Strobe lights on. Engine master on left. Renciators, L engine glow. Okay, see. Um, I don't have any info on my panel here. That's not on because they don't have power on. You turn that on. But you wouldn't want to start it with this, would you? <laughs> I don't remember. My earlier videos, I was a pro at the diamond, but now I forget. Seaters glow on, peel off. Check off, oil pressure check, okay. So then you just hit this. Oh, right, yeah, you gotta go turn on your fuel. And this is uh, part of his update, pretty sure. He's added that, so that fires your engine for you. I think you'd want the. Uh... So I can use my. Yeah, there. Those lights on as well. Position lights. Let's see if they're on the end of the wing there. You can't really see them there. Nope. Right. So that's how you start the engine. That's it. And uh, same with uh, Egonic power on. Yeah, well. Oh, I gotta do the same thing with the fuel. <laughs> Never had to before, so. There's the right engine. Usually you go right to left, wouldn't you? I think I went left to right. Put the pedal heat on. Okay, trim looks good. Uh, we'll turn on our taxis. Okay, and I will just set our course and heading in here. I think we'll just use runway. Why is course not working? Oh, it's slave to the uh, CDI there. I think we'll just use seven. Um, check met our TAF here. I think we'll use seven. Or it'll be Either seven or two five, one of the two runways here. Oh, matter task working today. Yeah, we can use seven. The wind's a crosswind, seven knots off to your left there from the north. So it's seven knots at ten degrees. So runway seven works. We'll do a couple left handers. Few left handers, all right. Fuel select to cross for you, left hand, right hand. Okay. For takeoff. Okay. Trim is right on takeoff. You can see the mark there. I don't know if this, if so, will fix that, but I know Mr. Tommy put that mark in there. Because I know there was none. 
Um, oops, I'm using my Thrustmaster for this because the DA is a uh, stick controlled aircraft, as you can see the stick there. Alright, so that is trim up and that is trimmed down. It's got my trims on the stick, just like the actual DA stick there. Did fly it a lot. See if there's any traffic around. Not here. There's large airliners, but right. They all taxi our way out. I guess I should set the uh, Q and H. I'm not sure what it is. I got it right in front of me though, but I'll just press B for now. And there it is. It's 33, 3400 about. Just hear those little engines, those jet A piston engines firing away. Okay, I'll just have a quick look. Make sure no one's coming down the runway there. We'll line ourselves up. I think that's pretty good. For some reason I feel that our compass might be out of whack, but uh, it's all left hand circuit will do. 3400, we'll climb to about 44 uh, ish. Hopefully I can still fly this thing. Alright. Let's quickly go over the check. Take off trim, set flaps. There we go with one notch there, flight controls. And we'll put our landing light on. Normal takeoff, transponder. Uh, bah, bah, bah. Up to 76, 83, initial climb. All right, here we go. And get rid of our flaps, we'll feel the nose dip a little bit there. It's okay. Back on the power, we'll rocket into space. Gear can go up. So I could have did the gear first there. It's alright, we'll trim ourselves to climb out. We're climbing out a bit fast here. It's okay. Take our initial turn. About 500 feet there. Continue our climb. We we're a little off the circuit, that's okay. Have a look. The mountains to the west, flatlands to the east. The sun is rising just like it actually is. Okay, so we're looking for 44, so we gotta climb up a little more here before we stall out though. <laughs> Come back on the power and we can level off around here and make a left turn to downwind. Try to keep our nose in the horizon there. And 
There's our runway off to our left. The beautiful mountains out to the west. One day I'll do a flight out there along the mountains there. That'll be a nice one. High River, the town of High River off to our north there. And we're mid downwind, you call in now. Air traffic, uh, November 5009 or Delta. Mid downwind, runway 07 to land, left traffic, touch and go. I would do flight training out of here maybe one day, I'm for real. Climbing a bit much here, a little high. Start coming down now. Runway behind us. We'll go with one notch of flaps. Probably use this road as a marker to turn. And again, we're a bit fast here. And we want to stay around 38 till we get uh, closer to the runway. Okay, we'll turn final. Feels like we're in a pitch up attitude. And you call final. Okay, a bit fast there. It's easy to speed in this aircraft, it's very fast. And we'll just keep that runway on the ground where it belongs. Full flaps to our checks. Landing lights are on. And put our gear down. <laughs> I nearly forgot the gear, guys. Undercarriage, right? Undercarriage. Okay, see, it's getting hard to see the uh, runway there with that uh, seating position. It's been a while since I've been in the DA. And chop the throttle. Oh, a little bit of a rough landing there. We'll re back up. Do a no flaps takeoff here. <laughs> and the trim's a bit off, that's okay. So we'll re back up to uh, 38 and make our turn. Positive rate gear can go up. Okay, left turn. Okay, power back and trim. And we'll turn downwind.
Okay, we're at 44 there. It's kind of where it... 45 now. Don't want to go any higher than that. When you get flying bigger planes like the CRJ, the Otter. The Otter's not huge, but bigger than this. Um, your reference of speed is slower. Like you're, you're way faster, but it just feels like you're... The sim has a, a way of capturing you where you're you're feeling like you're slower, but you, you know you're going faster. It's just, uh, it's a conundrum. <laughs> we're mid-downwind, or we're, well, near the end of the downwind. I'm going to do a no-flaps for this one. No-flap landing. It is possible, ladies and gentlemen. It is possible. Let's see if I can do it. We'll lose a few hundred feet here near the end of the uh, downwind. Keep it around 4,000-ish. Thirty-eight seemed a little too low, so okay. So no flap, so you really got to manage the power. We'll turn base. Just watch that white line. Make sure you got no flaps on or not using them. DA is nice. It's got nice big windows. It's low wing, so you can see. Um, of course, low wing has its uh, disadvantages and its advantages. One being, you can't see below you. <laughs> so, I mean, give or take, right? You gotta have a wing somewhere. Okay, so basis feels a little better at about 4,000-ish. So we'll turn final right about now. 20 degrees, 25 degrees. And slow her down a little bit. You can see the buildings there. And we're a little off. A little fast without the flaps. We're doing a no flap uh, touchdown on this one. Next one, we'll do an engine out. We'll fail an engine. See if I can do it. Here it is for no flaps. I uh, want to lose some more power. Stall speed will be higher. And gear can go down. Almost forgot again, guys. Don't know why. It's the sounds of the props remind me of the otter, but... Uh, Water is fixed gear. We're stolen. Chop throttle. And there she is. Okay, and we can lift off again. It's a bit of a rough landing there. Positive rate, gear can go up. We'll fail an engine. How about that? How about we fail the right engine? Left is usually critical, so they up to 38. Flaps are up. Make sure we didn't use them, but make sure they didn't get hit or anything. Here we are, make our turn. It's a little steep. And climbing a lot quicker now. Fail the engine in, uh, well, final, base or final. One of the two. So as you can tell, I'm not doing too many checks here and there. You know I got the landing lights on. They're left on. And, uh, okay, oh, getting a little high here. I'll turn downwind. There's the main highway, Highway 2, goes north to south. Here 
Here's our mid downwind. Nice little town of High River there. Okotoks to the north. <coughs> okay, I don't know the engine out procedures. I'm not going to follow anything specific, so don't penalize me on that, guys. But uh, we'll fail it on base to make it a little more complex. The turn to final. Here we are. Around 4,000. Not, we're a little out of trim here. I'm going to throw 10 degrees of flaps on. That's fine. Oh, I don't know why I touched the gear, what it did. Slow the throttle a little bit. Trim her back again. Again, I'm not a real world pilot, so don't uh, quote me on anything. <laughs> How do you fail an engine? No, that's not how. You can just kill the throttle there. Should do it. Okay, yeah, that engine's gone. I've lost the power. I don't think I killed it properly, though, but... Okay, we're losing lots of airspeed here. I got full power on the left. Definitely feel a difference. I'm um, losing too much altitude. Try and turn to final. Mayday, mayday, mayday. Don't want to gain, don't want to gain. Want to gain airspeed, not altitude, but uh, these guys know the trade off. Be a sloppy turn to final, but uh, deal with it. Save our gear for the last few seconds. Okay, looking pretty good. We got a few hundred feet to spare, 80 knots. Not sure how to actually kill that engine right off still spinning it should maybe that's how okay can't mess around with that gotta control the plane we got too much uh, speed now full flaps I don't know if that was a good choice And we'll save our gear, my hands on the gear right now. Let go of the controls, it wants to pull right to the right. Let's get that gear down. Okay, hit the brakes. There you go, there's a few touch and goes. One with an engine failure. I think it's failed, I don't know what. Yeah, I forgot the seating position. You want to be kind of high to see everything. Yeah, if I keep the rudder straight, it just pulls. So. Differential braking and a lot of rudder. Didn't see any traffic, that's okay. Um, so there you go. There's a few uh, touch and goes. Fire that back up now if I can. There we go. See the shadow of it stopping there. Landing off, taxi's on. And 
add the power back into the right engine to taxi properly. This airport is by PFD YYC, PF, PDF YYC, PDF YYC. And the diamond by Mr. Tommy MXR. Flightsim.to, links will be in the description, guys. We'll taxi it up somewhere here in front of the Canada flags. There, right there is fine. Hope you guys enjoyed the flight. That was some circuits uh, inspired by G-Box Master. He's flying in a real diamond the other day. Um, made me want to take the diamond out. <laughs> in Flight Simulator, of course. Flight Simulator world. Alright, guys. Thanks for watching. Won't bother with the shutdown or anything. Remember, stack them sats, and we will catch you on the next one.